What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be breaking down some gameplay for you. I want to talk a little bit about um, this phrase and I want to talk about how it applies to Madden. The phrase is relentless repetition. Relentless repetition. And what that basically means is champions don't beat people by flashy moves and tips and tricks but they beat people by out executing them on the basics they beat people uh, in the practice in the practice facility they beat people by ex executing the basics better and the way that you execute the basics better than anyone else is you relentlessly commit to repeating them over and over again so that it's basically like clockwork for how you execute and that's what I want to talk about a little bit for today's video because as we kind of turn the page for Madden 20 and we take into consideration what a lot of people have really gotten good at in the game and what people have done really well this year, what you find the more that you look into why the best are the best and why the best are the best every single year and why it's not just a you know a one trick you know one year wonder kind of thing for most people in Madden is because they're committed to consistency it's all about consistency and you only get consistent when you are committed to being relentless and repeating the basics and doing the little things over and over and over and over and over again. And we've kind of entered into the moment where I think the best Madden players are really developed because what I'm doing and what a lot of people are doing right now, um, at least what I'm doing is I'm committing to practicing and to getting good at the basics, to executing my simple offense repeatedly, to being relentless in my repetition of the basics. And the basics are what I talk about, what I've talked about a little bit is your offense and your defense out executing, having plays that work well together, having a system, having a system. Most people play Madden. And they have one or two money plays. Most people don't have an actual plan, an actual system that they are committed to executing. Okay? So as you look to what makes the best the best, I'm going to suggest to you that the best are the best because they've done it over and over and over and over and over again. And the way that you can get better in Madden is by practicing your routes when you go into a game you need to look at most of your games as practice sessions and when you read the defense you never want to race waste a rep you never want to waste a rep because when you waste a rep in madden when you don't properly diagnose the defense when you don't properly um, understand what everything is going on even if you're not playing a good player that bad habit that bad habit sticks with you and you cannot you cannot get away from it. There you see a nice little user catch, but you cannot get a you cannot get away from bad habits. They will follow you. And so the only way to get way, get away from bad habits is to replace a bad habit with a good habit, to replace a bad uh, move with a good move, to out repeat it to out repeat it. So you've done so many good things over time that the interest will compound. It's kind of like money. If you put uh, $5 away every week for a year, you're going to have a lot of money. But if you only put $5 away for one week and then you don't follow that up with the second week, you're eventually, you're, you're not going to have as much money. And so what I want to encourage you to do is as you're watching my videos and as you're watching other people's videos, take note of some of the tactics, some of the tricks, some of the tips. But what I really want to encourage you to do is focus on your own system and focus on out executing people at your uh, system at the way that you play the game best, not at the way that I play the game best, because for you, maybe you're not a good passer. I wasn't a good passer until I committed to practicing it over and over and over and over again. Once I started practicing it over and over and over and over again, here I might get dotted deep. Um, once I committed to practicing my offense every single day, once I committed to, to really understanding how to read a defense, 
that's when my offense and my passing specifically started to get better. It wasn't magical. I didn't wake up one day and become a good passer. What happened was I practiced over and over and over again. And so what I want to encourage you to do, um, instead of just going to turn Madden off and playing something else, is during this time, during this time right now where we're in, where everybody's at home and all that stuff, it's really, really, really critical to practice Madden. If you want to get good at it, you have to practice. And if you don't, um, that's a nice little double move route there. Um, but if you don't ever practice, you're never going to get any better. And so if you may be saying, you may be sitting home saying, well, I want to become a good passer. Well, what's important is you learn how to do that. So you watch a couple of YouTube videos, watch some of mine, watch some of other people. I'm not saying I'm the best passer in the world. I'm just saying that I've worked a lot on my passing and I think it's gotten a lot better. But what I am saying is figure out how to be a good passer, develop a plan, develop a system, and then go out and execute that system over and over and over again. There's a lot of value in what's called relentless repetition when you repeat something over and over and over again. Here you see I miss a read and, um, and that's okay, but the reason I missed that read by far because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't approach that play with the same discipline that I normally approach it. And that's what I'm talking about, about that relentless rep repetition. You're not going to get it right every time. But the players that, the people that win Madden, the people that win money in Madden, they have ran their scheme probably, probably like a thousand times in a thousand games at the minimum. And so... When you commit to not only practicing your scheme, but also to knowing your scheme and also to disciplining yourself that you're never going to waste a rep, what's going to happen is you're going to, by very nature of the way it's going to work, your mind is going to mentally start to take pat patterns are going to start to develop in your mind. You're going to start to figure it out. And the more you start to figure it out, the better it's going to be for you in the long run because in the long run what's going to happen is you're going to develop better habits for this game you're going to develop a better system you're going to develop a better way to beat the blitz you're going to start to understand the way the game works you're going to start to understand how when you snap the ball when the players move a certain way that means they're in man or zone you're not going to have that little intuition if you don't practice if you don't get the reps in if you don't commit to it. And so part of being a really good Madden player, because what a lot of people will do in Madden, and this is just, I'm guilty of it and we're all guilty of it. But what a lot of people will do in Madden is they'll get online and they'll just start playing games. They'll never have practiced what they're supposed to practice. They'll never have done any of that stuff. They just get on, they just log on and they just play. And this happens all the time. I mean, all the time. And so what I'm saying is, Hey, instead of just getting on and playing, have a little bit of a have a little bit of a warm up, have a little bit of a practice plan, have a little bit of a system that will help train your mind to understand your plays better. Because if you don't do that, if you don't have that system, you're never going to understand your plays better and you're going to literally get the same result that you've always gotten in your plays. Why I can throw that corner out for you guys have probably watched some of my videos and you've probably seen me throw me throw the corner out from the mesh probably 60 70 times on my youtube channel i can throw that corner out with confidence because i've literally thrown that corner out against every single defense in the game i know exactly what it's going to do because i've thrown it so many times i've thrown interceptions i've thrown touchdowns i've thrown incomplete passes i've tried to use or catch it i've tried i've faced every coverage you could face and so that is why it's very simple to me to to very easily you know succeed. There you see I miss a read, and we all miss reads. It's going to happen, but I promise you, if you commit to practicing everything and you commit to disciplining yourself, that hey, I'm going to get on Madden every single day, and when I get on before I jump into a game, I'm going to head into practice mode and I'm going to run every single play that I want to run. 
and I'm going to run it against the computer defenses on random, I guarantee you you're going to get better. And again, it doesn't take much to do that. You log into practice mode with your offense and you go. But what it does take is it takes time and it takes energy. And most people aren't willing to put their time and their and their energy into actually getting better at Madden. They want to put their time and their energy into playing Madden. They don't want to actually get better. And so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. I hope that that may 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 motivate you a little bit as far as how this game's work and how you can actually get really good at the game. This right now is the time to be getting better at Madden 21. Right now. To be preparing for Madden 21 right now. Because I promise you, the game's going to change some, but the core principles are going to stay the same. The core principles of Madden have always stayed the same. The principles that you want to have a really good run defense. And there's principles to that. The cover 2 invert, all that stuff. You want to use her in the middle of the field. You want to basically run a cover 2 with a blitz off of a double edge pressure. Those have always stayed the same. Those are consistent themes that I've seen every year I've played Madden. You want to get really good at situational clock management. You can't get good at clock management if you never have to manage a clock. And if you're never if you're never being serious and you're never actually having to manage a clock, then what's going to happen is you're never going to get good at it. You're going to continue to stay average because you're not putting yourself in those you're not getting those mental reps. You're not getting those opportunities where you can actually prepare. So like right now, three minutes and nine seconds, what I need to be doing is I need to be preparing to use every bit of that three minutes and nine seconds. Play every game like you're in you're playing for money. And honestly, for some of you that have the money to be able to do this, the best thing you can do for Madden is play every game for money. Log on to some websites, bet bet your bet your dollar that um, that you'll win. Now again, I'm not saying I'm not promoting gambling or anything, but I'm just saying um, play every game as if your your money is on the line. And when you play like that, when you play with that little bit of edge, that I've got to be really focused. What's going to happen is your game's going to get better. Your Madden. Um, system is going to get really, really, really consistent because then when there's stakes, you play different. You just do. And so if you don't get reps playing for something, playing for stakes, then what's going to happen is you're going to get in a game and you're going to either be too tight or you're going to be way too loose. And you're not going to have that mixture. You're not going to have that uh, ability to just turn it on. Nobody can just turn it on. You have to have the discipline to be effective all the time, all the time. And that's what Relentless Repetition is about. That's what this time is about. This time is to sharpen the skills, to sharpen your skills at this game, to make you more effective, to make you more effective at reading defensive coverages, to make you more effective at reading what the defense is going to do, knowing how to beat it, and then executing it knowing how to simplify your offense so that you're only running a couple of plays that work well together. This is the time to do that. Now, again, you're not going to know what route combinations work that well, but I guarantee you it's probably going to be some, you're, you're probably going to use a corner route or outbreaking pattern uh, alongside a post route or an in breaking pattern. That's what's going to happen because that's what happens every single year. Crossing routes, post routes, corner routes are what most Madden, 20 offenses are built off of and I would venture to say that in next year's Madden most offenses are going to be built off of corner routes post routes cross routes and the like deep in routes deep dig routes deep out routes quick flat routes you know those things work all the time because they're simple football concepts um so uh, anyway, I just want to encourage you to kind of get in the practice mode. I want to light a fire underneath you a little bit today. And I hope that what you see is this is the time to get better. This is the time where Madden uh, players, Madden champions are made because you're training. You're training for the upcoming season. It's that simple. And if you're not playing Madden for at least one to two hours a week right now, my opinion, you're not getting any better. And the critical, critical thing about Madden is 
if you don't stay up on it. And what I love about the game, if I don't stay current, so there was a season, there was a season where I literally just could not, I, I just did not put the time in and my stick work and my skill level has dropped so significantly, so significantly from when I put, was putting the time in consistently. That's something that you have to put the time in to get. And if you're not practicing right now, you're not getting any better with your stick skill. What happens is, especially in Madden, somebody is practicing right now. Somebody is getting better. And if that someone is not is not you, then that means that you're getting worse. You're either getting better or worse. You can't stay the same. Your stick skill is either getting better or worse. You're getting better or worse. And that's just the bottom line. There, just throw it away. But I'm telling you guys, if I were you, what I would work on, and this is actually a really easy thing to do this year, but work on your stick skill. Uh, run, run, you know, I would go into into matches. This is something you could very easily do, but go into a go into a, just a play now standard play now match, and just run the ball every single play. Which again, a lot of people are doing that. But what that does for you in the long run of Madden. That gets you much, 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 much more effective with your stick skill, with your ability to operate at a high level. So again, those are just a just a quick tip for another way in which you can be more effective. Um, what I've been working on a lot this year is getting back into uh, a user catching and cutting off balls and pass leads and all of that stuff, and it's made me a better player. You can always get better at this game. I promise you no one is playing this game at the level that they are just the best player of all time. There's no one's no one's cross problem right yet. No one has. And Skimbo's gotten close, but I would say that problem sustained it over multiple different eras. Right now, if I was in Skimbo's shoes, and this is just me, but if I was in Skimbo's sh- shoes, I would be furious with my performance this season uh, skimbo was not on his a game this year by far i thought he had one of the best offenses his bunch offense i don't know if you guys paid any, paid attention to skimbo but his bunch office was amazing i mean his his actual plays they were amazing skimbo didn't win though and when you don't win you have to you have to take that for what it is. I mean, you can have the best. I can have the and there you see I'm I'm a little bit late on a read and throw a pick. I can give you the best plays if you can't execute them. It doesn't matter. That's why I don't feel any. I don't feel any danger with putting out my stuff. Uh, I give you guys exactly what I run. I hold nothing back from you. And the reasoning is because personally, I don't think it really matters uh, if you know my plays. If I can execute them better than you. I'll win. I'll win. But I think stick skill is very underrated. One of the things I'm trying to work on with my user right now is psychology, right? Um, So having kind of a standard lurk that I'm going to do before the play starts, as opposed to trying to figure it out while in the middle of the play. So I'm proactive instead of reactive. Uh, I know my job on defense is to hold the opponent to three. That's my job every single time. Never changes. Uh, and so if that's my job to hold the opponent to three, to play, to hold the opponent to three over and over again, then I know that my user on defense needs to basically play deep to short. But the way that I do that every game and every every single play uh, might differ. But there you see there's that user catch on that spot play. And I really, I really think that's one of the most underrated routes in the game this year. That uh, Z spot route is still very powerful. Still very powerful. Uh, I've been able to consistently get that user catch on man and zone. You know, basically if they don't user it, um, I'll be able to to hit that route. So, but get those reps in, guys. It's really it's so critical right now. So so critical. Try different things right? Try things you've never tried before, but stick skill does fade. Stick skill does fade. So if you don't play Madden for 
two to three hours a week, your stick skill, your ability to adjust on the fly, your ability to move players around, your ability to adjust fast, that will fade. And that is something that you cannot teach. You cannot coach. You have to develop over time. You have to develop over time. You can't teach that stuff. I can teach you a play setup. I can teach you a philosophy. I can teach you all these things. What I can't teach you is how to weave in and out and and uh, move people around at a very high speed. And that's one of the number one things that it takes to be effective in Madden. You have to have some some level of stick skill. You have to have some level of stick skill. I've never seen someone win a Madden tournament without having at least some level of user skill, user stick skill. So because of that, this time for me is time when I can get better at my stick skill because quite honestly, that's probably the weakest part of my game. Um, it's not my scheme. Typically, my scheme is fine. It's not even um, my clock management, even though my clock management could be better. It's 100% my stick skill. My stick skill is not where it needs to be. So that's what I'm working on right now. What are you working on? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Shoot me a text. I'd love to hear from you guys. My number is in the comments. It's 812 812- uh, 216-3644 would love to hear from you. Let me know what videos you'd like to see as well. Um, if you text in, I'd love to hear that here. I'm just going to force feed that throw. And as you can see, I can, I can very much so, um, pop that in pretty, pretty consistently, um, from the mesh or, or uh, from the, the spot. And again, I haven't seen a lot of people running Z spot this year. I think Z spots a very slept on route. Um, just because of, like I said, what you're seeing here. There you see McCall Harm in the back of the end zone on that stick deep in route. But passing is definitely not dead. I think passing is just fine. I think being able to beat the blitz is a little harder this year just because of how how long the routes take to develop at times and how important it is to be able to roll out. So if you send a, you know, if you're running the J mills, I'm going to blitz, you know, seven, eight people from three, four, you know, that's understandable. Let's see what he does here. I'll just swap that away. It's an interesting wildcat. They're letting him throw it. But anyway, um, let me know in the comments how you guys are preparing for Madden. Um, I'd love to hear it. Love to catch, you know, kind of what you guys have going on. Um... Let's see here. So far, so good, though. This game, playing pretty well. Have a couple of adjustments. But relentless repetition is so critical. Just being consistent. Being consistent. Doing the right thing over time. And the more you focus, and that's one of the other things I want to coach you in Madden, have some focus. What a lot of people will do is, you know, they'll play Madden, but they won't focus on it. Meaning they won't sit down and really lock in. And then what happens is when they get to the big stage and they take away the distractions and it's you versus somebody else and the other person's screaming at your face, you can't handle the pressure because you've never put yourself in a position to at least train for it. You've never trained for the pressure, so how in the world would you be able to handle the pressure once it's thrust upon you? You just can't do it. You just can't do it. And that's one of the things I find myself has been such a big developing. I have to put myself in situations where I practice, where I train. That's why there's a regular season, right? That's why there's a preseason. That's why there's all those kind of seasons. And there's a good user work lurk or user pick. And we'll just get you some more reps with the offense here. But I hope you guys see what I'm talking about. I want to show you a little bit more of the spot play. Like I said, this route has been good since probably Madden. I mean, I started running. A lot of people started using this route early. But I think Madden 13 was where it really became popular. But it was good in Madden 12. Um, but just that quick read. 
going across your face. And honestly, this year, guys, and I don't know if you've, um, I've, I've talked about this some. Part, of, I mean, pre-snap reads are really, 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 really important. But what I'm finding out this year more than I've ever found out uh, in a game, in a year of Madden is just flat out if you, um, if you just like dot. There, as I take a sack, as I take a big sack, actually. If you just send five out on a route, to me this year, um, and I don't know if it's this this year. I think every year, but but specifically this year, I'm finding a lot of value in that. I'm finding a lot of value in just sending five out, saying you know, call it a day, uh, as I completely miss another read, but but that's just me. Uh, again. You know, I don't know where you're at. I don't know what your what your what your Madden journey's been, but I know for me, uh, I I tend to struggle um, personally. I I've struggled a lot this season with running a max protect scheme. I typically will block a running back, slide protect the opposite direction, and then and then roll out. So here I'm going to cut block, get that cut, and then Mahomes. And I'm telling you, man, possession catches are just the way to go this year. This right here is going to be pretty cool. One of the so basically, what you do if you want to cut block someone, you want to ID them as the mic, and then you want to block your running back and slide away from them. And you'll see here, I'll get that cut block. And there you see, completely throw it across my body and just don't don't have it. I should have gone to that Z-spot play. That's really been a good play for me. There we go, a little crosser. But my job this, this offseason, Madden, let me know in the comments what you're going to try to get better at this offseason uh, in Madden. But for me, what I'm going to try to get better at is 100% uh, having stick skill having better stick skill and my priest or my, my ability to, to dot against pressure, my ability to read the defense really, 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 really fast and send five out on a route. I want to send five out on a route every time, um, every time this year. And the reason is because I think it just makes you better passer. I think it does. I think being able to execute under pressure, if you're able to do that at a high level, um, it's critical. It's critical, uh, especially with what I watched in the Madden Bowl, um, or not the Madden Bowl, but the Madden uh, Challenge. Uh, and I don't know if you guys saw. Oh, what a what a good route. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but Jay Mills destroyed Kiv because basically, and I don't think it was all Kip's fault. Um, obviously, he lost, and he's got to deal with that. But um, I think Jay Mills played really good defense. I think, um, to a degree, Kiv kind of got Kiv got a little bit um, a little bit kind of behind the eight ball early, and then it just kind of flooded from there uh, defensively. You know, his uh, his defense did keep him in the game, but I think he just got a little bit behind, just got it in his head of I can't execute, uh, and that was a decent that was a decent play. But. Um, but anyway, all that to say, guys, what I'm what, what I'm committed to working on is my user stick and my ability to pass under pressure. So what are you committed to working on for Madden 21? The work starts today. I want to leave you with that line of relentless repetition. Champions are going to do today what most people won't ever do, and that means they're going to execute the basics well. They're going to over-execute, over-execute, over-execute. So.